دعاء الافتتاح دعاء الافتتاح was taught by the Imam Mahdi Ajalallahu Ta'ala Farajak to recite every night during the month of Ramadan. The dua is excellent for molding man's attitude towards his creator as it discusses many aspects of the wretchedness of the human being and the grace of Allah subhanahu ta'ala. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. O oh Allah, I begin the glorification of you with praising you, and you always guide us to the right out of yours favors upon us. I'm certain that you are the most merciful of all those who show mercy in situations of pardon and mercy, the harshest in punishments, in situations of giving exemplary punishment and chastisement to the wrongdoers, and the greatest omnipotent in the domain of absolute power and might. O oh Allah, you have permitted me to pray and beseech you, so listen, O oh all hearer, to my words of praise. Reply my prayer, O All-Merciful, and overlook my slips, O Oft-Forgiving. You, O my God, have relieved so many of my grievances, dispelled so many of my sorrows, overlooked so many of my slips, spread over me many of your mercies, and unlocked so many rings of misfortunes in which I was detained. All praise be to Allah, who has not betaken wife or son, who has no partner in the sovereignty, nor does he have any protecting friend through dependence. And magnify him with all magnificence. All praise be to Allah with full gratitude for all his bounties. All praise be to Allah who has no opposition in his rule, nor there is any challenge to his commands. All praise be to Allah who has no counsel to meddle with his operation of creation nor there is anything similar to him in his greatness. All praise be to Allah whose commandments and praise are active in the creation. His glory is evident through his kindness. His distinct overflowing generosity is freely available. His unlimited bestowals do not exhaust, and whose opulent bestowals increase him nothing but magnanimity and generosity. Verily he is mighty, abundantly giver. O oh Allah, I beseech you for little from the much along with my great need for it, and your needlessness for it is since eternity. For me it is so big, but for you it is effortless and easy. O oh Allah, as you pardon my sins, overlook my mistakes, take a lenient view of my disorderly conduct, cover up my hideous actions, and treat my numerous offenses with forbearance which I have committed mistakenly and willfully. All that tempted me to ask for what that, which I do not deserve from you, that is you may grant me part of your mercy, show me part of your all-powerfulness, and show me signals of your response to me. So, I am now supplicating to you with security and beseeching you with entertainment, neither afraid nor fearful, insisting on you in that which I face to you. But when your response is delayed, I out of my ignorance would blame you, although perhaps slowing down may be a blessing in disguise, because you alone know the consequences of all matters. So I have never seen such a noble master, more accommodating to such a dissatisfied servant than you are to me. O oh Lord, you give an invitation, but I turn down. You become familiar with me, but I do not care for you. And you show affection to me, but I do not correspond to you, as if you are overreaching me. Yet all that have not stopped you from having mercy upon me, doing favors to me, and blessing me out of your magnanimity and generosity. So please have mercy on your ignorant servant, and bestow upon him with the favors of your beneficence, Verily, you are all magnanimous and all generous. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the sovereignty, who allows arcs to flow and seas, who controls the winds, who causes the day to break, who administers the authority, and who is the Lord of the worlds. All praise be to Allah for his indulgence, although he has full acquaintance with all things. All praise be to Allah for his amnesty, although he has full power over all things. 
All praise be to Allah for the respite that He allows in spite of provocation. He is able to do whatever He wills. All praise be to Allah, the Creator of all created beings, who makes sustenance freely available, who starts the day, who is the owner of glory, might, favors, and bounties, and who is so far away that none can ever see Him. And in the same time, He is so near that He is fully aware of even the whispering secrets. Blessed and exalted be He, all praise be to Allah who has no equal to challenge Him, nor is there an image comparable to Him, nor is there a helper to assist Him. He tames the powerful by His force, and disgraced are the great ones before His greatness. So He, through His power, fulfills that which He wills. All praise be to Allah who gives answer to me whenever I call Him, covers up my shortcomings, yet I disobey Him and gives me the largest part of bounties, yet I do not show him any gratitude. Many an auspicious favor had he given me, many a terrible danger had he turned off, and many a blossoming joy had he made available for me. Therefore I praise him with thankfulness and mention him with exaltation. All praise be to Allah whose screen cannot be penetrated, whose door is not blocked, whose beseecher is not rejected, and one who hopes him is not disappointed. All praise be to Allah who secures the frightened ones, comes to the help of the upright ones, promotes the cause of the weak ones, annihilates the autocrats, destroys rulers and appoints others instead. All praise be to Allah, the eradicator of the tyrants, the terminator of the unjust ones, the catcher of the fugitives, the punisher of the unjust ones, the aid of the aid seekers, the settler of the needs of the beseechers, and the support of the faithful believers. All praise be to Allah, in His awe-inspiring fear, the heavens and its dwellers tremble and shiver, the earth and its inhabitants shake and quiver, and the oceans and all that which float and swim in their waters flow together in excitement and tumult. All praise be to Allah who has guided us to this. We could not truly have been led aright if Allah had not guided us. All praise be to Allah who creates, but He is not created, gives subsistence, but He needs no provisions, feeds, but He takes no nourishment, causes the living to die, and brings the dead to life, but He is the ever-living who never dies. In his hands is all the good, and he is able to do all things. O oh Allah, please do send blessings on Muhammad, your servant, messenger, confident, friend, beloved, intimate, the choicest of your created beings, the bearer of your sacraments, and the conveyor of your messages, with this most superior, the most exquisite, the most handsomer, the most perfect, the most upright, the most prospering, the most pleasant, the most thoroughly purified, the most sublime, the most and the best blessings, advantages, mercies, affections, and salutations that you have ever bestowed upon any one of your servants, prophets, messengers, choicest people, and those honored by you from among your created beings. O oh Allah, please do send blessings upon Ali, the commander of the believers, the successor of the messenger of the Lord of the worlds, your servant, your beloved representative, the brother of your messenger, your decisive argument over the mankind, your most important sign, and the great news from you. Please do send blessings to the truthful and pure lady, Fatima, the doyen of the women of the world. Please do send blessings to the sons of the mercy to the worlds, and the two leaders of true guidance, al Hassan and al Hussein the two chiefs of the dwellers of paradise. Please do send blessings to the leaders of the Muslims, 
علي بن الحسين محمد بن العلي جعفر بن محمد موسى بن جعفر علي بن موسى محمد بن علي علي بن محمد الحسن بن علي and the successor the guide and the rightly guided those imams are your decisive arguments over your servants and your trustworthy confidence in your lands with blessings that are numerous and non-stop O oh Allah, please do send blessings to the custodian of your commandments, the vigilant guardian, the reliable patron, and the awaited establisher of justice. And please surround him with your favorite angels and assist him with the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord of the worlds, O oh Allah, please choose him to be the caller to your book and the establisher of your religion. Make him succeed in the earth as you caused those who were before him to succeed. Establish for him his faith which you have approved for him and give him in exchange safety after the fear. He serves you. He ascribes nothing as partnered to you. O oh Allah, please grant him power. Make him the source of power. Grant him support, make him the means of your victory. Help him with a mighty help. Make him prevail over all with easiness and delegate him your controlling authority. O oh Allah, please make prevalent your religion and the norms of your Prophet through him, so that he will not have to hide any item of truth for fear of any of the creatures. O oh Allah, we ardently desire that you confer upon us a respectful government through which you may give might to Islam and its followers, humiliate hypocrisy and its people, and include us among those who invite people to the obedience to you and lead them to your approved path. Give us the good of this world and the world to come. O oh Allah, let us bear out that which you make known to us as the truth and let us attain that which we fall short to do. O oh Allah, through him set in order our disorder, gather and unite our flock, stitch together our ripped open separation, increase our few numbers, lift us up from our degradation, grant wealth to the needy amongst us, pull us out from our debts, set up our poverty, Fill the gap of confusion among us. Make easy all difficulties we may face. Refine our substance and style. Release us from captivity. Make successful our applications. Fulfill your promises to us. Give answer to our prayers. Respond to our requests. Make us attain our hopes in this world as well as the world to come. And grant us beyond our wishes. O most favorable of all those who may be besought, and most magnanimous of all those who may grant requests, through him heal our breasts, remove the rage of our hearts, and in the event of dispute in the matter of truth, show us the right path. Verily you guide whosoever you will to the right path. Grant us victory over your and our enemy. O God of truth, respond to us. O oh Allah, we complain to you about the departure of our Prophet. Your blessings be on him and on his household. The absence of our leader, the big numbers of our enemies, the few number of us, widespread disorder and vicissitudes of time against us. So please do send blessings upon Muhammad and his household and help us overcome all that through victory from you that you expedite through relieving us from our injuries, through your help that you confirm, through bringing in the rule of justice and fair play, through mercy that you expand over us, and through good health that you cover us with. In the name of your mercy, O most merciful of all those who show mercy. Sadaqallahu al-Ali al-Azim. End of Dua Iftitah.